Wow! I'm really tired. I have just arrived from the airport. I can see your bags. It looks like you had a lot of fun. I really did. Don't you want to know about my trip? Sure. Tell me about it. Where did you go? To start. I went to Egypt. I did not know it would be that great. Egypt? Have you ever been there before? Never. I have always dreamt about it, but I have not. Never. I have always dreamt about it, but I have not. I saw an ad on Facebook with an offer for plane tickets. Were they expensive or cheap? They were really cheap. $100 round trip. Wow. They are really cheap. And who did you go with? Of course with my family. It was our annual vacation. That's great. You deserve it. You always work really hard. Thank you. That's true. I need to save money to travel. And when did you leave then? We left two weeks ago. After we finished with the work project. That's good. How many hours did it take to get there? About 10 hours. The trip was a little long and tiring. Did you eat or drink anything during the flight? We did. The flight included some food and a drink. Great. Because it's difficult to be 10 hours without eating. Yeah, but the first thing we did when arriving was to eat more. I suppose. The food from the airplanes are not specially tasty. You are right. That's why we looked for some typical food. And what is the typical food of Egypt? I don't know. It has many typical dishes, but we ate something called kushari. Kushari? What does it contain? I'm not sure, but it had some lentils, rice, pasta, and red sauce. Interesting. Did you like it? Yes, it was good, but the best is the traditional shawarma. I heard that name before. I think I ate that here in USA. Yeah, that's a very famous Egyptian dish that is everywhere. Sure it is. And where did you stay? Which hotel did you go to? We did not go to any hotel. We stayed with an Egyptian family. How is that possible? You have family or friends there? No, we don't. We found a website that offers these options. Cool. I would like to try that someday. Yeah. They waited for us at the airport and took us to their home. And what did you do after that? Did you go out? We went to visit the center of El Cairo, the capital of Egypt. What is it like? We first went to the Egyptian museum in the center. As it is Egypt, I suppose you found interesting things there. You can see real mummies there and also golden antiques. Wow! A mummy? That sounds like scary. It's not. Actually, it was very interesting to see that. Well, and what else did you do later? After that, 
We went to Gueza, place of the iconic pyramids. I have seen a lot of pictures of that. They look really tall. And they are. They told us its height was almost 150 meters. They are really big. And did you get to see any sphinxes? Yeah. It is in Gueza too. The Great Sphinx. Awesome. Okay, but then, what else did you do? People think Egypt only has the pyramids and the Sphinx, but not. To be honest, I also thought in that way. Don't worry. It is because it is the most famous tourist place. So what else does Egypt have? You won't believe, but it has some of the most beautiful beaches. Really? Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, you can find Sharm El Beach, Stanley Beach among others. Great. I would like to visit them someday. You should go. We went there to relax and sunbathe a little. Tell me about one experience you had there. Well, on the last day of vacations, something weird happened. Really? What was that? We were packing to leave and I could not find my wallet. Oh my god. You should have been really worried. Very worried. And we thought that somebody could have taken it. Don't tell me it was someone from the family you stayed with. Very worried. And we thought that somebody could have taken it. Did not you first ask all the members of that family? I did, but I was so desperate because all my documents were lost. I feel you. If that happened to me, I would go crazy. Yeah. Well, the police arrived and we were looking for everywhere. And what happened? Could you finally find it? It turned out we did not find it because my son took it. What? How did that happen? Why did he take your wallet? He told us he took it to buy some souvenirs for his school friends. Okay, but why did not he tell you anything about that? It seems that he told me while I was sleeping, but I don't remember. Oh, Lord. So what did you do with the police then? Well, I had to apologize not only to them, but to the family. Of course. They should have felt so terrible. Yeah, I was very ashamed I had doubt and accused them like that. Without a doubt, that was a very embarrassing situation. It was. Well, at the end, they understood me and forgave me. That's good. Your son should have told you before. Finally, we left to the airport and were able to arrive on time. Happily. So what did you bring for me as a souvenir? Well, actually, I did not have time to buy anything. Sorry. Oh, um, don't worry. I suppose because of that problem. Not exactly. We supposed to buy souvenirs on the last day. Then why did not you do that? I fell asleep before going and that's why we did not buy anything. Anyway, you have always been like that. I know. But the next time we travel, I promise to bring you one. All right. Maybe we can go together the next time.
That would be great. That way I would not forget to buy souvenirs. Yeah. I'll make sure that won't happen.